Today in this video, we want to go over transferrin. Transferrin is an extremely important to our health as it binds iron in our system and transports it to the place in our body that need iron uh, to produce red blood cells. Um, if transferrin is not doing its job or it's not present in the amount it needs to be um, or it's doing its job too well, you can have one of two problems. Uh, too little iron in the system leads to anemia. Too much iron in the system leads to problems on the other side with high iron concentration and blood poisoning, things like this. So transferrin is extremely important. Uh, it's a blood plasma glycoprotein and its job, of course, is to find and bind uh, free iron and it binds very tightly yet that bond is uh, reversible as it then has bound um, the iron as a protein transports it to the liver or to the bone marrow and when it comes into contact with uh, certain receptors on the surfaces of cells in that area it then releases its iron. Uh, transferrin is primarily produced in the liver uh, it's also produced by the brain but its primary place of production is the liver it binds iron and transports it to the liver, bone marrow, and other places like that. Uh, when it encounters one of these receptors on the surface of a cell, the iron is released and transported to the inside of the cell uh, via a vesicle, uh, also known as endocytosis. Transferrin saturation can be measured and determined. It's uh, the total iron concentration divided by total iron binding capacity. Now, when we talk about iron, and uh, iron binding and releasing it, this really does have profound effects on people with renal disease. Uh, those suffering from kidney problems um, need to have between a 20 and 50 percent saturation level um, according to the kidney disease outcomes um, quality and in, uh, initiative guidelines. So when the, um, you've got end stage renal disease, you need to try to keep this right here, transfer and saturation between 20 and 50 so transferrin is very important to our health as it binds iron, takes it to the places where red blood cells can be made. Remember, it is a blood plasma, a glycoprotein. It binds iron, takes it to uh, the places like the liver, bone marrow, where they find these cells that have receptors on the surface, where it then grabs the iron from the transfer and transports it into the cell and then processes it appropriately. Well, this has just been a basic overview of transferrin and things related to it, its importance to our health things like that. If you'd like to learn more about this or related matters, uh, underneath this video you'll see a link. If you'll click on that link, it'll take you to the website that has that information. And while you're on that website, you'll also find a link to an ebook that's ready for immediate download. 